Martino is located on the western side of southern Salento and stands within the Ionic Salentinian Union, together with the municipalities of Aliste, Melissano, Racale and Taviano. The city has more than 11,000 inhabitants and its economy in recent years has developed in the tertiary sector, especially in the provision of banking, insurance and commercial services. The inhabited center of Matino extends on the outcrops of the southwestern Salento Hills, where the Santa Eleuterius Hill stands, among the highest headlands of the province of Lecce. Around the village there are the vast cultivations of olives and vines, testimony to the fertility of this land and its agricultural tradition, still rooted in the production of oil and wine of high quality. In the historic center, it is possible to admire the ancient Ipogean oil mills dug into the calcareous rock. For many centuries, olive growing has marked Matino's economy, particularly linked to the production and sale of oil. Rich in ancient charm, the mills inside still retain the equipment for the pressing of olives, used over the centuries by the powerful arms of the trappitari, the workers employed in the use of presses led by the nakiro. The ancient city looks to visitors as a precious gem carved from the narrow streets and delicious terraces that scramble among climbs and descents, overlooking the striking landscapes. The rich historical and artistic heritage of Matino is combined with the attention of the policies of enhancement and promotion of the beauty of the places where the cultural touristic vocation coexist with the sensitivity and the hospitality typical of the people from southern Salento. The historic center of Matino is a treasure trove of delightful beauties set in a unique urban landscape. The deep horizon blends with the ancient lime of the buildings and is a sloping of lights and colors that break in picturesque winding and lies covered by the typical whiteness of the stones of Puglia. Walking through the streets of Matino it is easy to come across the typical architecture of Salento, among which there are notable examples of court houses and characteristic Mignani, once built to embellish the city's buildings. The oldest part of the village overlooks on Piazza San Giorgio, where there are representative symbols of the religious life of the town and of the ancient feudal heritage for centuries represented by the Marquis del Tufo. The main facade of the Marquis Palace dominates the entire architectural section. There are strong references to structural and decorative changes made to the building over time. 
However, the 16th and 18th centuries coexist in a refined silver variety that binds the ancient trenches of the loggia to the large entrance portal, dating back to the early 18th century. The interior spaces, spacious and monumental, recall the grandeur of the house of Del Tufo that here in Marino has prospered throughout modern times. The frescoes also echo in the stables of the palace. The size of the environment welcome the managers of the horses and each hollow is decorated with cartouches and ornaments with antique appeal. Today, the building has been promoted to a cultural container of the community of Martino, focused on the enhancement of artistic disciplines. In fact, the municipal relevance is the MACMA, or the Museum of Contemporary Art in Martino, set up in the halls of the Marquis Palace. The museum is one of the main collections of visual word poetry and it also houses a room that reveals the magic of micro-writing. Important is the wing of the museum dedicated to the talented artist from Matera, Luigi Gabrieli, for many years director of the Parabita State Institute of Art and innovator of educational systems in the field of visual arts. In the heart of the main square of the village stands the parish church of St. George, protector of Matino. At the top of the porta there is the statue of the titular saint, while on the sides there are the two frescoes of Mary and Devotion, the Immaculate and the Madonna del Carmine. The interior opens into a laden cross plan and throughout the perimeter the chapels and side altars stand out, decorated and enriched with precious stuccos and pigments. The architectural forms recall the 18th century of Salento when the building was prepared by Tommaso Pasquale Margoleo, a native of Martano. Near the Arco della Pietà stands the homonymous confraternity church, ruled for over a century by the pious association of the Beatissima Vergine del Suffragio. The building, as stated in a scroll on the porta, was rebuilt in 1716 and its interior preserves valuable frescoes made in the apse by Bernardino Greco. Matino hosted an important convent of preaching fathers. With the Napoleonic suppression and the dispersion of the community of friars, most of the building was used as a municipal house which involved significant structural changes. Inside you can still see the arcades of the ancient cloister and of particular beauty are the early 18th century frescoes made by the famous painter Bernardino Greco from Copertino. The saints recall the saints of the devotion of the Dominican friars, who here in Matino animated religious life up to the beginning of the 19th century. The Church of the Rosary, also known as the Church of the Madonna del Soccorso, is annexed to the ancient Dominican convent. 
Important is the 18th century facade of the building with its typical roquet decorations. The Church of the Crucifix is located along the road that leads to Casarano. At the end of the 17th century, the completion of the building should be completed. The church was reopened for worship during the 20th century and it is possible to admire several canvases belonging to the Baroque era. The Sanctuary of Our Lady of Sorrows was completed in the mid-18th century thanks to the involvement of devotes from Matino and the confraternity of the Seven Sorrows. The church has undergone major structural changes but the interior still retains remarkable decorative elements and a fine pipe organ. The Carmina church is located at the top of the village. The oldest part of the building dates back to the early 17th century, although the façade was built in recent times according to the canons of the medieval revival. The territory of Matino preserves a remarkable rock heritage of great archaeological importance. The presence of man in these areas is attested already from the most ancient times as evidenced by the findings identified inside the cave of Santa Armete located in the southern outskirts of the town of Matino. During an excavation campaign in the cave and in the countryside around it, important archaeological findings have been found, some associated with the Neanderthal communities. The other ground was used as a place of worship in the period of Byzantine rule, as documented by the signs of frescoes on the walls of the cave that have been lost today. The cave of St. Eleuterio, placed on the slopes of the homonymous hill, is part of the context of the Italy Greek cultural tradition. According to some historical hypotheses, the hypogeum was located inside an ancient Byzantine monastic complex dating back to the 10th century, consisting of the presence of a church, the dormitories of the religious and the graves for the collection of wet. From the hill of Santa Eleuterio you can enjoy an enchanting view and it is easy to get lost in the colors and sounds of this ancient countryside where the references to the Byzantine past of the Salento area are strong. The Matino countryside reserve visitors pleasant surprises. An example is the Giardino Mimmo, located in the Pergola district, once owned by the Marquis del Tufo, lords of the area. The monumental portal is enriched by the Bossage and 18th century decorations. The portal was flanked by an ancient church transformed by the Marquis into one of the many country residences.
within the fenced area are still visible some decorative elements typical of the noble gardens, like some of the wells of seals built in the 18th century. Always linked to the feudal history of Matino is the Giardino Lazzarello, located in the homonymous district. The structure belonged to Ascanio del Tufo and his consort Beatrice Pignatelli, built in 1725. Once upon a time there was a hunting lodge, used by the feudal lords to spend the moments of literary idleness in complete serenity, enjoying the coolness of the countryside and the pleasant landscapes. The Matino countryside is full of delicious suggestions and it is easy to grasp the beauty of the places that recall the spontaneity and freshness of an ancient and genuine Salento. <laughs> 